Hey guys, thought I'd pop on with a new toy. Um, here, let me talk to you for a little bit so I can see you and then I'll move the camera. So I ordered a new toy. So it's a needle punch kit and then I ordered a separate needle punch. So I thought I would come on today and try it out for the first time and see how it goes. But, so I'll show you what I got first of all. So, ooh, dang it, stop. Hi guys, Tracy from Crochet Rosetti. How's everybody doing? I'm doing well, I guess, but I have a new toy to share. So I went on Amazon and I wanted to try needle punching. So I ordered a kit and the kit cost $23.99 and I'm gonna show you what came with it. First of all, it came in this really beautiful box. Very nice box. I'll be saving that because that'll be good for storage. It came with a boatload of thread. It came with three different size um, hoops. It came with darning needles. It came with a tape measure. It came with some, looks like rug yarn. It came with these little spooly things where you can wrap your, um, your thread on so that it doesn't get all tangled. It came with these, which I, <laughs> They're horrible, <laughs> say the least. And I have no idea what this little thing is. <laughs> if you know, let me know. Looks like almost like a thimble type thing, but I don't know. And it came with this hook, which is supposed to be able to change sizes. Now keep in mind, I've never touched a punch needle hook before. And then it came with all of these attachments. That's what came with the kit. Okay, I ordered, because it was recommended, was the Oxford um, needle puncher that apparently it's the easiest one to thread. I don't know, because I haven't tried any, and it came with, it came all threaded, so I know how to do it, and then it came with like a stitch counter and a little booklet. So, yeah, this, this here was $44, so don't be like me and just go out and buy it. <laughs> unless you know you're going to use it. I know I'll use it because I'm a kook like that. So then I had to order some monk's cloth and the monk cloth comes with two sheets of monk cloth. And this is what they recommend to use it with because it's stretchy and um, it has some stretch to it. But it comes with two pieces for $10.99. So I did that. So I thought what I would do today is try the Oxford and um, some different yarns to see what's the best yarn for it. So I have some wool that I had. I have some acrylic. I have some Premier Bulky um, variegated. And I have some paint box cotton. So, I thought maybe we would try to play around with this today and see how it goes. Because we all have yarn and we're always looking for different ways to incorporate yarn, right? That's why we have such huge stashes. So with that being said, I'm going to move the camera down. Um, I'm gonna get my, my stitch pulley. This, this thing comes in handy. I don't know if you can see it. It's a wire. So when you're threading like beads or when you do a macrame, you need something like this to pull the, the cord through. But I've had that for a while. Um, okay, so first monk cloth. I'm gonna start with the medium size loop. Let's move you down so you can see what I'm doing. And don't mind me if I cough, I still have a cough. Okay, here we go. So oh, let's start with the medium here. And um, I probably should have brought a permanent pen with me too. 
so that I could draw um, a pattern. It goes that way. <coughs> so I'm only gonna do like one little corner here. And they say you're supposed to work on the opposite side. So I'll be working from the back. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry, guys. <coughs> All right. I got a drum like. Drum like consistency. So it's nice and tight. I want to make it tighter though. All right. So, this is the Oxford. Now I'm going to put my glasses on so I can see. All right. Here we go. Let's start off with acrylic. Because I'm really, I have so much acrylic. And uh, you're supposed to, let's get that thread of thing that I took out for that reason alone. If you hear a noise in the background, that's crochet A <laughs> playing. All right, and then you're supposed to pull it in to the crack there so that that's the easiest one the other ones I think they said you have to push something all the way up and in and uh, I don't know that's what this one is so I'll have to try it but I'm not going to do this one today um, so you're supposed to work on the opposite side the reason why I'm doing this today is because I would like to know what kind of yarns I can use so Let's see, you know what? I'm gonna draw a, do I wanna draw on it? No, cause I can probably pull it out and reuse it. All right, but normally you would have a pattern. You can tape it up on a window, put that up on the window so that the inside is facing you and then you draw your pattern. So let's see what we got here. And I believe you're supposed to have the yarn so you, dragging it and you're supposed to put it all the way down and in come up oh did I do it right yep well, it looks like the acrylic's working no oh, maybe not <laughs> um hmm so acrylic might be too slippery I wonder if I used a smaller um, hook. Let's try that one more time. One, two. Yeah, see, I think the acrylic is too slippery, so the acrylic's not going to work. It should. I'm going to figure out a way to make it work, guys. I think I bet you if I use this one here, because this adjusts if I can get a longer hoop to go in, that this might work. I'm gonna, I'll try that another day though, but today we're doing the Oxford. See what works with the Oxford. So then this is Premier um, every day. That's not gonna work with the Oxford. Let's see, let's try cotton. I think these yarns might be too thin for the Oxford. I think you need a thicker yarn. All right. So this is the cotton, paint box cotton. All right. 
So it looks like the cotton will work. And maybe it's because it's a natural fiber, it's more grippy. I think that this hook is too big. It's a size 10. Um, I might need to order a smaller hook, but this hook is not good for the thinner yarns. But we're gonna try the wool now. I don't really wanna ruin the ball band. All right, where's the start of it? Um, no, where are you? <laughs> oh, there we are, okay. Let's try wool. Wool's supposed to be really good. That's supposed to be like the cream of the creme for um, punch needle work. My hands are shaky. I had a cup of coffee this morning. through and let's try the wool. This is supposed to be able to, this cloth, when you go like this to the fabric, it, it pretty much goes right back so you can reuse the fabric. Um, so let's see, here's the wool. Nope, oh, this is too big of a hook. What an ultimate feel this one is, huh, guys? <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to get me some bulky yarn. Let's try this one. This one should work. Let's see. Loaded and ready to go. There we go. And this is the um, premier acrylic, and it's a bulky. So that does work. Again, this is my first time using it. So I have a feeling it's gonna take a lot of practice. And yeah. <laughs> so all I've accomplished is making holes in this. I wonder if I try, I'm really not. The kit was nice. Like, so this has okay so this here has a wire all right I'm not sure what good that's gonna do because it barely let's see I'm gonna try with the wool. <clears throat> I have quite the mess here. I might have to make shift something. This doesn't seem to be working at all. Nope, didn't work. <coughs> hmm. This is kind of a weird little, I wonder if mine will reach up there. Mm, nope. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna have to play around a little bit. But uh, as of right now, I have pretty much had an epic fail. <laughs> 
So that's that for that. But I mean, look at this, it's just a wire. I mean, it doesn't even reach all the way to the top. Oh wait, oh, it separates. <laughs> Let's try that again. I know this video is a horrible video, but I just wanted to kind of let you see with the trials and tribulations of, oh, what did I do? All right, I just totally confused myself. supposed to come oh you know what I think I have to grab it from the other end that's what it is come on get in there it's like threading a needle this is horrible <laughs> Come on, come on. It's stuck. The heck? <laughs> Seriously? I might have to make shift my own thing. This one's too, too small. All right. not working so I'm going to make shift the tool and I'll be right back okay guys I had to stop the video for a minute because um, I have quite the mess here um, the threader that came with this tool did not work it was too small too thin and did absolutely nothing to help me get this thing threaded. So what I did is I got some floral wire. I folded it in half so that there was a, a place to put the yarn to bring it through. I brought, put it down from the top down inside, yanked the yarn up and then threaded it through this hole here. If you can see that. And this is the wool, and I'm gonna try this again and see if I like this tool better and if it's worth me ordering another Oxford or not. You know what guys I like this tool right here that came with the kit better than the Oxford I think it works better and you have different sizes that you can use um, now I don't know how easy it is to change the tip of it or can you I don't know. Oh, what the heck just happened? Okay, I don't know that you can take this off. If anybody knows, <laughs> let me know. Because <laughs> um, it comes with all these different heads, but I wouldn't know how to... It didn't come with instructions. I guess that that's the only downfall I can say about this kit, 
is that it lacked instruction. Um, especially for somebody who's new. And I've watched videos after videos and Um, I don't, I need to take a peek at this because I'm really not sure what's going on here with these little things. <clears throat> so see, not everything's always easy. Sometimes it's a work in progress and a learning lesson and you just keep going until you learn. Ah, that's, look, see that? It's stuck right in my finger. Ah. <laughs> That wasn't fun. Holy cow. What was that all about? What is these wires for? These must be to thread the smaller ones. So is this, how does this work? Does it screw onto these? I mean, or is this a piece in itself? I have no idea, guys. I might have to watch a video on how to, unless you're supposed to be able to work these ones like that. I don't know. I mean, I guess it would work that way, right? And maybe these screwable ones are for the tiny, tiny ones. I don't know. <laughs> All right, well, I guess I'll figure it out. Um, so far, I, th I seem to like, oh, that made it, my finger itchy. I like this better um, than the Oxford. I think if I had super bulky rug yarn and I was working on a, a big project on a big canvas, that this would be better or a smaller hook altogether. I like the fact that this is adjustable and um, I find that's more useful. So yeah, I think I'm gonna play around with this one more, put this away for now, and until I get some bulkier yarns, and um, then I'll play with this one, and maybe I'll do another video making something with this one. And maybe I'll do a video making something with this one too, as soon as I get the hang of it. <laughs> so guys, oh, let's put you back up, let's see. So, Thank you for coming along with me on my little uh, <laughs> failure episode of Try and Punch Needle. I mean, I did learn something. I did learned that I do like this one and it's the, the least expensive one and it is adjustable. So, it, I mean, it goes up that high and you slide it down to that and then down here. And then all the way, I mean, well, oh, wait a minute, this thing comes out. Should I take it out? I'm afraid to take it out. So be very careful. No, that piece doesn't come out. Uh oh. spring in there. Yeah, I don't want to mess around with that. I don't want it to break on me. So, um, yeah. So these are the other little pieces here. So if you know how to work with these, leave a comment in the below, or you can email me at tlrdjr23 at gmail.com, or you can come join me at my Facebook group, Crochet Rosetti. You can find me on Instagram as Crochet Rosetti. Pinterest is Crochet Rosetti. And uh, thank you for coming over and trying something new with me. Um, it's always fun trying something new. And I am going to continue to play with this and see what I can come up with. And also today, I have my first part of my Hobie um, crochet along for the Wonderland shawl. So I'll be starting that today. I've been working on my granny squares. Um, the last time I showed you, I had stopped the purple and I decided to add some gray. Um, yeah, and I'm still working on my kiss blanket. So, and that's a gray stitch. So that's two things for the season of the granny that I'm working on. Um, 
Yeah. And uh, this is going to be a challenge. And <laughs> thanks for coming and watching me work on this um, little little thing here. I'm afraid. <laughs> but it would be really cute. I saw some cute like little owls wall hangings because then you can like trim around like if you've got a nice wood um, uh, ring here and then you trim around it and then you you know neaten up the back a little bit and you can hang it as like an, a little um, wall hanging. So that'll be interesting. So um, I apologize if this video is not something that you would want to watch, um, um, especially to my new subscribers. This is mostly a crochet channel, but I like doing other things also. So I would like to be able to add in little tits and bits of tids and bits of different projects that I work on along with my crochet. So I hope you enjoyed it and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye guys.